Welcome back to my Suburban Garden. I'm Sheila. And today I'm going to give you four tips to make it easier to garden. If you have a disability or breathing issues or mobility issues or you're just getting older like I am. Um, so, let's get started. So, tip number one, raised beds. I know it can be expensive to fill raised beds and there are tricks to do it, but it's still cost. I did mine with um, scrap lumber and um, I filled in with branches partway, um, but the soil is the most expensive part. There are ways to make your soil homemade. Um, I just did it topsoil and compost. There are exact recipes for making um, homemade soil, um, potting soil. If you look it up online, you can see them, but I got lucky. My son for my birthday brought me a huge pile of soil, really good soil. And um, so that's what I'm using. But if you're not as lucky to have a good son like me, um, just, you know, start small and raise your beds as, as the years go on. So my plan is I've got, except for my potato bed, which is barely deep, um, my other beds are only, okay, landscape timbers are pretty cheap. And so mine are two landscape timbers high. I'm going to add uh, two or uh, one or two next year, so it's a little higher. So eventually I can stand at my raised beds and work. Right now you see me sitting a lot at my raised beds and because that's what I do. I go from bed to bed and I sit. But raised beds is one tip to make uh, gardening easier for you if you have issues. Tip number two is get up early in the morning now and I came out and turned on the sprinkler for my corn to water my corn. It's supposed to rain today, but I don't think it's gonna rain enough to, to su sufficiently water my corn. Um, but get up early in the morning and do what you have to do um, before it gets hot. You know, before you have to take frequent breaks. Um, and I have most of my energy in the morning. I, um, this is when I'm most energetic. As the day wears on, I start slowing down. So, tip number three. Landscape fabric and wood chips. Again, I know it, again, I know it costs, but it just saves so much time and effort uh, weeding between your paths. And start slow. Do one path at a time, as you can afford it. But eventually, they'll all be landscaped and wood chipped. And it just makes life so much easier not to have to uh, weed your paths or mow your paths. It, it really does. And this isn't it in my tips, but I will say mulch your beds, mulch them. They will hold the water a lot longer. So you're out here watering less, less often. <laughs> Tip number four, play close to your house. Don't make it to where I was having to trek, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 feet. Um, back there to the cornfield and the beds. And I only had two beds at the time. I started a third one and then I just, summer got too hot and I just, I never finished uh, filling it. I have seven beds now up close to the house and I'm about to start a little tiny bed in a little space I had because it's close to the house. I can walk out and do what I have to do. And if I need to go in, I can. Um, 
unless you have a reason you can't, plant close to your house. That is the best advice I can give you. And subscribe to this channel. It really does help. I appreciate every one of you who watched these videos. I'm getting better. I know some of them aren't great, but I'm getting better. Um, but yeah, so those are my four tips for making it easier to garden. I've been Sheila. This has been my Suburban Garden. I'll see you in the next one.